Good day everyone. We would like to quickly introduce ourselves. I am Micaela Alaysa Eldoros Reyes. Alexandra Litada Buli. And I am Mary Grace Gamlanga. And we are from Group 5. Our research topic is all about Kuiper students' learning materials to enhance skills in a specialized subject of STEM students. This video includes the research gap or reason to conduct this study, statement of the problem 1, 2, and 3, and conclusion and recommendation. Smartphones have become a common tool for many K-12 students due to the fact that they not only provide entertainment but can also be used for education. According to Stationary 2020, during the pandemic, the educational communities have made concerted efforts to continue learning, but students have have had to rely more on their own resources to maintain learning remotely through the use of internet. Based on TreeMet and Bashman 2004, the students who are more equipped to employ technologies inside the classroom have a record of higher participation rate, are more engaged in learning, and have a great motivation to perform any activity as compared to the students who do not use technologies. Therefore, the researchers conducted this study to determine the effectiveness of using a web-based tool called Kuiper School Materials to enhance skills in specialized subjects for STEM students. Because nowadays, blended learning is a huge player in today's education. Kuiper is able to provide ways for students to learn at their own pace even when they are not in school. Kuiper, a technology-based tool, allows students to study at their issue while also cutting prep time in half and allowing educators to focus more on hands-on assessments. And it can be used to distribute lessons and activities for students to complete. The researchers conduct a survey and gathered all the information that they need to be able to identify if the paper help the same student enhance their skills in a specialized subject. The researchers of the study selected one section in grade 11 STEM students at Jose Abad Santos High School to be respondents of this research study. The sampling method that the researchers use is the non-probability sampling. The researchers ask questions to the use of survey questionnaire. In this study, the researchers use a Google form to give the respondents a chance to answer voluntarily through the use of gadgets or online. The main goal of this study was to determine the effectiveness of paper as a tool for students to enhance their skills and specialized subjects. Especially, this study sought to answer the following questions. We have question number one. What is the level of effectiveness of Kuiper School in terms of quizzes, activities, and assessment? We have question number two. Students' level of skills and using Kuiper materials in their specialized subjects. And we have question number three. The factors that make learning difficult for STEM students in using Kuiper School as their learning materials. Now let's proceed to number three. The different factors that make learning difficult for STEM students in using the Kuiper School as their learning tool. Number one, what is the level of effectiveness of using Kuiper School materials in terms of activities and assessment? This table displays the level of effectiveness of using Kuiper School as learning materials in terms of activities. It can be shown from the data that the title for each activities are relevant and significant to teaching learning process was rank 1 among the indicators with a weighted mean of 3.53 and it was interpreted as highly effective level of Kuiper in terms of activities. While the, le while the rest results effective including set of examples are relevant to the activities with a weighted mean of 3.47, Activities are systematically presented with guided facts, theorems, and trivia that make learning more educational, innovative learning activities with a weighted mean of 3.40. The presented activities are relevant to the grade level of learners, weighted mean 3.37. Enhance the development of teamwork and productive work, weighted mean 3.33. Promote development of higher order of thinking skills and the trivia add more fun to learning has the same weighted mean of 3.30. Activities are arranged sequentially in accordance with their level of difficulty with the weighted mean of 3.13.
contribute to the achievement of a specific topic with a weighted mean of 3.07 and it arouses your interest with a weighted mean of 2.90. In general, the computed weighted mean of 3.28 was interpreted by the respondents as an effective level of using Kuiper School in terms of activities. The respondents highly acknowledged that the set of examples given in the Kuiper School are relevant to the activities. Table 1.2 exhibits the level of effectiveness of Kuiper School materials in terms of assessment. As shown from the data, 10 out of 10 indicators were interpreted as effective. Assessment appropriately applied to the concept presented and they are sufficient for attaining mastery of the subject matter was rank 1 with a weighted mean of 3.50, followed by tasks are logically arranged based on topics with the weighted mean of 3.40, and tasks are appropriate to the grade level of the learners, weighted mean 3.37. Assessment tools are sufficient to measure the understanding of two topics with a weighted mean of 3.33. Variation in presentation of tasks further induce learning, interest, and understanding with a weighted mean of 3.23. And the assessment tasks and associated grading criteria are made available in appropriate time feedback throughout the lesson has helped to develop and improve learning. This may include assessment are enforced with appropriate guides such as fact, theorem, and trivia, and length of assessment tasks are time-bounded has the same weighted mean of 3.20. And the self-assessment question motivate learners in studying the lesson actively, weighted mean of 3.07. The overall computed weighted mean of 3.27 was interpreted by the respondents as an effective level of using Kuiper school materials in terms of assessment. Number two, student level of skills in using Kuiper School as a learning material and a specialized subject. Table two, measure the level of the skills of the STEM student in using Kuiper School material in a specialized subject. As shown from the data, 10 out of 10 indicators were interpreted as a measure answer, a serious question about lesson effectiveness draw an open-ended question and summarize an entire lesson in a single word and compose a short statement of one or two paragraph explaining why they choose that particular word to summarize the lesson are both rank one with w weight mint of 3.27 followed by both categorized concept based on whether or not they contain certain defining features and apply the concept they have learned in solving problem with a weight mean of 3.17, identify the key point and learning outcomes of the given lesson, weight mean of 3.13, express their self, concept, and personal goals in way that connect to the topic. Weight mean of 3.10, write a brief memoir style essay describing a moment of an episode of their lives during the lesson in which they felt like they successfully reached in a learning outcome. And work together in a pair of small group to answer a question or solve a problem related to an assigned reading in paper school weight mean of 3.7 test question and sample appropriate answer that demonstrate the ability to comprehend concept that underline assign reading weight mean of 2.97 and write the responses independently in a journal or document as a reflection exercise weight mean of 2.83 in general the computed weight mean of 3.11 was interpreted by the respondent as a measured level of skill using Kuiper School. Kuiper allow an open-ended question and it's an effective way to challenge a student and learn more about how they think. It's encourage extended responses and allow students to reason, think, and reflect. Now let's proceed to number three, the different factors that make learning difficult for STEM students in using the Kuiper School as their learning tool. Table 3 presented the problem that encountered by STEM students that make learning more difficult in using Kuiper material as their tool. As presented from the data, 1 out of 5 indicators 
interpreted the serious problem encountered in using creeper applications by the respondents. It includes unstable internet connection with a weighted mean of 3.57 and 4 out of 5 indicators were interpreted as serious problem including limited facilities like laptop and computers, etc. that supports learning difficulties to use for students with limited computer skills with weighted mean of 3.50, limited access with a weighted mean of 3.30, and limit student social and cultural interaction with varied mean of 3.10. The average varied mean of 3.40 was interpreted as a serious problem encountered on use of keeper school learning materials as assisted by the respondents. Conclusion Based on the finding of the study, the following conclusions are drawn. Number one, the grade 11 students are fully aware that keeper school creates an effective learning environment for the learners to learn. And number two, the assessment of the respondent on the level of effectiveness of paper school materials in term of activities and assessment fall under the effective rating. Number three, the assessment of the respondent on the student level of skill in using paper school as a learning material fall under measured rating. Number four, the major problem of the encountered by the student on the use of paper school material are Number one, unstable connection and <coughs> Number four, the major problem encountered by the student on the use of paper school materials are Number one, unstable internet connection Two, limited facilities, computer, laptop, etc. that support learning And number three, difficult to use for the student with limited computer skills provide the necessary assistance for the paper to be made accessible to LR portals. It is further recommend that the school conduct a webinar and training programs that highlight how to use paper. Paper is an online way of teaching, hence the teacher should be provided with enough training about how to implement and use paper in a classroom setting as well as for the students to guide them on how and what else they can do with paper. Students in succeeding school year must be use paper since it was found effective in enhancing the skills of students in different subjects. Paper school could be used for the students who are often absent in their class and could also serve as enrichment materials for the past learners since the lesson in a paper is accompanied by clear, specific, and easy to comprehend objectives and the objective in the each lesson guides the reader in teaching learning process and also the set of examples given in the paper are relevant to the activities and the content is suitable to the students uh, level of development parents or guidance must con constantly check the progress of their children's academic performance in school with the help of the paper Future researchers may conduct similar studies to determine the effectiveness of paper school learning materials in other sources of students to enhance skills in learning areas and confirm the effectiveness of the use of paper. <laughs>